Hello and welcome back to the painting stage of the Tamiya 72nd P47D Razorback. Now, first off, I am using a flat green from Tamiya just to spray on the actual canopy itself. So when you do look into the cockpit itself, you will get that illusion that it is green inside as well. So once that was done, I could go straight on to priming of the kit now again i don't use a designated primer all i use is a gray of some description from the tamiya paint range this one being xf24 which was the dark gray now i picked that because it's dark and um the neutral gray that will be on the bottom um it will act as a sort of like a, a pre-shading type of thing anywho Onto the D-Day stripes. Yes, I love D-Day stripes. I can't get enough of them. Yeah. Anyway, I have a weird infliction of invasion stripes. Don't know who asked me. Just ask my doctor. He can tell you. But anyway, there you go. Invasion stripes. So once the white was down for uh, the invasion stripes, I looked at the decal sheet and basically went through everywhere that needed white, as in the uh, cowling, which I'm doing there, um, the underbelly of the uh, fuselage, and also the elevators, oh sorry, horizontal stabilizers and the fin. So once that was done, we had little bits to do, as in the blue, as in for the tip of the propeller, and I think it was the trim tab for the actual rudder itself. So, NATO black. Yeah, didn't want to put it jet black, so I went for that, NATO black, because it's like a very, very dark grey, and I wanted it to look used, as in it's been, you know... It's been around the block a few times. So, the invasion stripes. Mm. Now, here is Geek of the Week. Yeah, I think I'll find the width of the 72nd uh, invasion stripes is 6.35 millimetres. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. So then, <clears throat> thanks Geek, um, I went straight into then uh, using a tacker paint, uh, the aluminium, which is C078. Now this is going to be used for the chipping effects, um, which I'll be using a MIG ammo scratch effects type solution. Yes, which is, as it is there, uh, airbrushable, or you can use a brush. It depends exactly on what you want to do. But, yes, but, when you're actually spraying this, um, just remember where you've actually sprayed it. That's the big thing. Because um, what you don't want to do is start, you know, punch or puncturing your kit to actually get a scratch effects where you don't really have any aluminium paint in the first place. So, anyway, yes, just actually just airbrush very very lightly all over not like me because i you know, planted it there but anyway a light coat and that is all you actually need so when i was actually waiting for that to dry i went straight into using the neutral gray on the underside of the aircraft nice light coats and then i lightened it with some light ghost gray
Now I had a choice of using the Tanya olive drab or the MIG Ammo olive drab. Now I opted for the Tanya, not because it's regarded to be the most accurate in olive drab. Um, I just fancied using it, that was all. Um, so yeah, it was a case of just using it um, in like my normal fashion, nice and thin coats, but making it a bit distorted. Um, as in, I didn't want it to be like, you know, a slab of um, olive drab, um, which will come apparent later on when I do actually mix um, the actual olive drab with, if I've still got it here, uh, I used XF12, which is a JN or Japanese Navy grey. Okay, so there you go. Olive drab. It doesn't have to be drab. So with lightening the, the paint, um, I just used like a small paintbrush full of the XF12 and just popped it in the colour cup. And I did that three times because um, I wanted a build up of the lightness of the paint. So it wasn't like olive drab and then pow, you know, a very, very light sort of like olive drab. I wanted it to make it up gradually. And I think it's paid off. So. In that case, it was just a case of just being patient and just build the paint up as you go along. And that is the result of my doings. So, really enjoyable. Olive drab doesn't have to be drab. You can do a lot with it. And yeah, just enjoy it. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.